This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Lavinia. Welcome back to Lavinia Automation Labs and uh, back to automation series. So what we have to do now today, we have to talk about constructor function in this particular video. In the previous video, I have told you that but what do you mean by factory function? It's so easy to create. You just create a function like this. You have to use a um, method name, function name. You create, pass the variable, and then return this particular okay object from there. So as I told you that, okay, it produces object. So this is actually returning a kind of object. And this particular object is having property like a radius and one draw method is available over here. And then how to call this particular uh, factory function? You simply call it and then pass, let's see, one as a radius and then print, okay, uh, C1 and then C2. Next time we are printing five like that and C1 is having its own object and C2 is having its own object. So if you, let's see, I want to, I'll show you once again that node factory function.js. You can see that, okay, it's printing the entire object. If you write C1.radius, it will give you one. If you write C2.radius, it will give you five over there, right? So this is factory function. Now, today we will talk about constructor function. This is also used to, okay, also used to create objects or produce the objects. So one thing you need to remember, guys, whenever you are creating a factory function, the naming convention that you have to use are camel case. Camel case means C, like this. Camel case means like one, then two, then three, then four, like this. It looks like a camel, okay? It shapes like a camel, that's why we say camel case. So, so create circle is there, so C small and C capital. So this is a naming convention. All the JavaScript guys, they use the same naming convention for factory function, okay? But if you want to use a constructor function, the naming convention that guys, you have to use what? You have to use Pascal notation. So here we have to use camel case notation and here we have to use Pascal notation. What do you mean by Pascal notation? Pascal notation means that each and every first letter should be capital. One, two, three, four, like this, okay? So please make sure that, okay, whenever you see any Java, I mean, any JavaScript code, in that case, most of the people, it's a good practice that you should always use constructor function with like this, with this name and a factory function with camel case. Now, how to create a constructor function? To create a fun constructor function, what we need to do, it's simple. Let's see, I'm gonna create a function and the function name is, let's see, circle. Circle is a function. And in this particular circle function, it will take one radius parameter like this. And here, what we need to do that here, we need to define a local variable like this. <clears throat> this dot a radius is equal to whatever the radius that we will pass. Okay, so we have to write it like this, a radius. Now, what do you mean by this? This means it is pointing to the current object, right? So whatever the radius we are passing, the same current object property dot radius we are giving a radius property over here and then whatever the value that we are passing over here you can change the name also but let's say you're writing radius one is equal to radius you can write it like this but better to use this dot radius is equal to radius so let's say i have created a simple a variable over here same thing you can create a method over here let's say i'm going to create a draw method this dot draw and then i simply say hey this is my function like this and here's let's see i simply write console dot log and then i want to print let's see a draw string over here okay and uh, a draw and then i simply pass a radius also let's see whatever the radius is coming the same radius i'm gonna pass it over here so this is a simple function that i have created this is called a factory function now how to call this particular factory function to call this factory function, okay, the question is how to call, sorry, how to call constructor function, not say factory, constructor function. To call this particular constructor function, we have to use new keyword, guys. Right? Remember this thing for memory allocation. 
new keyword just like like in java that we have new keyword same thing you can create a new keyword over here let's say i'm creating okay like this i'm creating constant i simply say that okay hey uh, constant a is equal to i have to call this particular function circle function and pass the radius one <clears throat> but before that you just simply write a new keyword over here like this okay like this and then you try to print console.log the complete a you try to print then let's see what happens so i just clear it out and i simply say <clears throat> execute this you can see it's printing the complete object properties having one radius variable and one draw function is available over here <coughs> okay <clears throat> sorry now if you want to print uh console dot a and a dot okay a dot what are the property you want to use a dot radius so let's see a dot radius will give you one right radius value is one this is key and this is value i want to call <clears throat> a dot sorry a dot a draw function i want to call so if you call draw function let's see what happens if you clear the screen and then run it again it's saying it's printing draw okay and the radius is one because we already passed one over here. Similarly, you can pass multiple parameters. Okay, whenever you want to call it. So whenever you call, simple pass. Okay, a new parameter for the radius. Like that, you can simply create a, <clears throat> a constructor function. So this is, it looks like C++ in Java that we have to create like this. Okay, new. Okay, the function name and pass the value. And make sure you are defining the values defining the properties like that so this is about the constructor function okay like that so remember both are exactly doing the same thing create circle is also used to produce the objects and to create the objects and constructor function is also used to create the object but then what is the difference what is the best practice if you are coming from c++ and java background most of the people they prefer this constructor function because it looks like it looks like C++ in Java code, right? We have one variable, then we have uh, this particular function is available, then we have to use a new keyword and all those things. And exactly, it's doing the same thing over here. It's returning an object over here like this. This is a property that we are writing. And then this is a draw function that we have written. You can see that if you're writing inside the factory function, you have to write it like this, remember this. Okay, and if you're writing inside the constructor function, you have to write it like this over here exactly same thing but the preference will be i'll be giving two constructor functions so whenever you are using in your framework in your react or uh, angular js or if you are using for automation point of view we will prefer okay constructor function like that and then start creating okay start calling with the help of new and get the reference and then start calling them all the properties simple so that's all for this particular video guys this is a very simple thing how to create constructor function people might ask you at a time of interview difference between factory function and constructor function how to declare them and which one is the best practice to use it but remember name naming convention we have to follow cable case notation we have to follow okay like this but here <clears throat> uh, for this what we have to do we have to write see i forgot we have to write capital case circle we have to write it over here so that's my mistake okay so capital case we have to write if you have another keyword let's see circle 2 t capital will be there right so remember this thing guys this is called a pascal notation like this okay so that's all for this particular video guys and uh, if you all have any doubts please let me know and keep learning javascript thank you so much